Hi, this is Paul Osveto of Windows Phone Central, here with a video review of Nightmares from the Deep, The Cursed Heart, from Artifacts Mundi. It's an indie game for Windows Phone. You can choose between two difficulty modes, regular and expert. Regular is definitely the way to go if you don't like getting stuck and you want a little help now and then. Again, we have a little more of the story advancing. The story tends to be hand-drawn artwork, although there are some computer-rendered scenes every now and then. We've got some helpful tutorial text to teach players what to do. Tap the delivery worker. So here we are in a museum. I'll leave the crate at the end of the exhibition hall. You can see that animation is rendered. Looks pretty good. A lot of these games from other developers don't look as nice. So we're playing as a female here. Hidden Come object on. games check out the crate that just arrived. tend to appeal to female players as well as males, so it's nice to have a female protagonist. You can zoom in or out on the display. Sometimes useful. Okay, at first you don't have an access card. There, you're all set. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be on my way. This is called a hidden object puzzle adventure game. It's got multiple components. There's adventure, as in solving puzzles and advancing a story. Um, and the puzzles are in the, the genre name. And then the there are also hidden shut. object puzzles. Do you think we could pry the lid off? With so many tools lying around... I've got to find a crowbar. Okay, and I just got my card key. Tap inventory, drag the item to use it. Now in here we can tap different things. Can't break the glass on this just yet. Safe combination. So you can just tap around the screen to look for things. Other times it'll be obvious what you're supposed to touch. Okay, right four. Some of the puzzles like this integrate touch gameplay really well. This is a touch controls, that is. This is a really natural way to do this. Right, six. Left to one. And right to eight. Then I got a little in-game achievement there. This is not an Xbox game, but it does have its own achievement system, just for keeping track of where you are. Here's the game's first hidden object scene. You can zoom in during these scenes if you need to. There's a list of things to find. Sometimes items have to be combined. Or moved around. Um, so if you like hidden objects, you've got that to look forward to every now and then. It's kind of a treat, you know? It's not just hidden object scene after scene. But interestingly, the game also gives you the choice of playing Mahjong Solitaire instead of doing the hidden object scene. So if you prefer Mahjong Solitaire, as I kind of do myself, then you can just jump in here and do this instead. The Mahjong scenes aren't too terribly difficult either. If you end up getting stuck, it will automatically reshuffle, or you can just choose to reshuffle at any time without penalty, except that you wouldn't qualify for some of the in-game achievements. There we go, and the result of a hidden object scene is that you always get an item that you can use to solve various puzzles. Mom! You'll serve my purpose, maiden. Sail forth my ship to Skull Island. And this is where the game really gets started. 
The majority of it takes place on the ship or on the island that it sails to. You gotta chase Remington and try to rescue your daughter. Uh, you can always check your diary for a little background info or a list of objectives. Once you're on the island, you also get a map which tells you where you need to go, um, where there are places, puzzles to be solved, basically. That's handy. This is a pretty lengthy game. It is mostly well written. The story, I mean, you figure it out really early on, you know, they don't uh, dole it out as well as they could have. But anyway, it, it lasts pretty long. You've got a bonus adventure, which is basically just the epilogue to the story. They could have just connected it all and you wouldn't even know the difference. Um, you can replay hidden object scenes, and there are many of them. So if you like adventure, hidden object games, or even Mahjong Solitaire, this is definitely a great buy. You can, uh, you can get the trial version and then upgrade, or you can just buy the full version outright. Thanks for watching. Read the full review at WPCentral.com.